like every season in my career, it's, it has its ups and it has its downs. And I remember one of the downs at Rugby Park when we were 2-0 down in the first half, which, which is never great as a Celtic player. And your confidence is very low and you're, you're, you're trying to fight to get back in the game and a ball goes over the top and I sweep behind da Daniel Mastorovic and I passed it back to the goalkeeper and Fowler nicked in and, and chipped Fraser Foster. So we're 3-0 down at half time, 15 points behind Rangers. If Rangers had won that afternoon and we had lost, um, we'd be 18 points behind. This was around about October time, if I remember rightly. So we eventually turned that round and, and just after Christmas and go a, a point or two clear of Rangers and beating them at home to then be in a position to go and win the league. Back at Rugby Park, Fowler's playing right back. I remember I was playing left back, so a direct opponent against them. There's a, there's a bit of nerves going into the game because you remember the, the, the feelings you had when you were 2-0 two, two down, give the ball away to go 3-0 down, but you've got a chance to go and clinch, clinch a league title. And having have a, had a good season that year, I'm playing well, I'm feeling confident, but there is that, that uh, nerves and fear of just getting over the line. So it was great, a great feeling to, to get a start in the game and, and, and get over that line and on the day. To walk out the tunnel and see the support Obviously, we knew beforehand they were getting a, a big allocation. To walk out and see the three sides, two behind the goal and the one straight in front of you, full of Celtic fans singing in, in, in great spirits, it felt like a home game to us. So it's always got a lift with the, with the Celtic fans singing in, in, in anticipation of winning the league title. And I think that was the first, first one of nine in a row. So, yeah, what a great feeling and, and a great feeling to play a huge part in that game. Yeah, I remember um, having a lot of anxiety and, and fear before the game. As I said, you're, you're looking to clinch this first title and, and since I came back to the club um, and key some Young's take the corner, you know a good delivery is going to come in. So it's just about filling the right areas and hoping to get a run on your man. I managed to get a yard. I seen the ball in there coming towards me and I just knew I had to make, make contact and keep it down. So I kept it down, put it in the net and you can see in the celebrations the the relief, um, the lift of pressure, the, the joy for the players and the fans and we were all united together that season and, and what a great feeling to get us off to a good start because we knew that if we scored first, more, more, times, more times than not we'd win the game. So by this point in the game, you can clearly see my confidence is right up. If you score early in a game, you just get a huge lift. And I, uh, you can see that with the way I play the pass inside. I fire it into Commons and go, go for the return. And disappointed not to score. But I can see I've got that, that, that edge about me today. I'm looking for goals and, uh, goals and assists. And, and there's no better way to start a game than, than scoring that goal and, and relieving all the pressure and getting that big lift of confidence. Commons. by Harkins. Yeah, just watching it back, you remember the feeling. You remember the feeling that not many times in my career did I have that feeling of, of being untouchable and unplayable. And I can see when, when the, I'm in the box with the corner and it comes back out, recycled back, Bruni passed it to me after the fans shouting for me to shoot. Uh, they know better than Bruni shooting for 25 yards, they should know better. But I get it on my left side and, and, and I know that I'm going to beat the defender on the outside and I'm going to come back onto my left and put a ball in the box. And, it looks like I've picked out Leuven's deliberately, but the reality is I've, I've just known I'm going to put a right good ball in the area and hopefully somebody can get a touch on it. 
thankfully Glenn was there, he, he nodded the ball away, really good in there, great player to have in your team in the box, both boxes. So yeah, I can see from a performance there that I'm on a real high, can't untouchable in terms of confidence and, and just want to want the game to last forever. Swiggling with it. Gladly. Not Drew. So takes on Fowler. We play again by Mark Ray. Again, confidence uh, rushing right through me. For, I just want to go on the balls. I said Joe Ledley receives it for Commons, and I, and I overlap. And the minute I start the overlap, I know Joe Ledley's going to give me the ball. And I know, I know because I've crossed one in, I've scored a goal. Players in the league obviously know that I'm left-footed and I'm dangerous with my left foot. So I know that if I go down the outside and fake to cross it, Fowler's going to try and block the cross and then it allows me to go inside. Um, so I go inside and, and a bit of space opens up and I think we well, were 2-0 up, I'll have a go and I, and I managed to put it in the bottom corner but what a great feeling and it's bringing all the memories back. It's, it's, it's ama amazing times to see the manager, Neil Lennon and the coaching staff and the fans um, show that much joy, it gives me great, great, uh, great pleasure and what an amazing time. I think when you score an early goal, an early couple of goals, the confidence just runs right through the team and you, you can see the type of team we had there. I mean, lots of players, very unselfish. Commons lays it back to, to Samaras, I don't know how the keeper saves it. It's some brilliant play and our tails are right up. We know we've got a chance of clinching this league. We know we're, we're three nil up by this point and we're going to, everybody wants to get in with the goals and, and, and add to the atmosphere and, and it really is in football when you're at that point in a game. It really is the most most enjoyable games. A, a lot of time when you play for Celtic, teams can be stuffy, it can be hard to score, and you always know if you get the early goals and get the confidence up, then you can have a right good, enjoyable day. Mm -hmm.